um, just a cool example of the system. I can just extrude that face and add some vertices, vertices um, edge loop, sorry, and it automatically creates this brick pattern. So I can just keep extending it and it does that for you. Hello and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Lewis Art. My name is Emmanuel Carfo and today I'll be showing you guys how to create advanced patterns inside Blender. So this is my art station in case you want to check it out. But importantly, I want to show you guys this artwork which I just finished doing. As you can see around the waist of this guy, you can see this nice chain mill going around. You can even see some going around his elbow. You can even see some around the head. So it's be like really hectic to do this manually. That's why you need like a system that does it automatically for you. And today I'll be showing you guys how to do that inside Blender. So let me just show you guys what I've been working on. Um, just an cool example of the system. I can just extrude that face and add some vertices, vertices um, edge loop, sorry, and it automatically creates this brick pattern. So I can just keep extending it and it does that for you you can increase the number you can decrease the number you can do anything you want so that's what i'll be showing you guys how to set up today okay so let's just start it from a new scene um so basically this system is just working with particles so if you're familiar with nano mesh inside zbrush it's basically same ideology but with small powers because it's blender and you have better control so uh every time you're working on particles you, you always bear this in mind particle system works better if you have evenly distributed polygon a very evenly distributed polygon okay so um uh, this plane if i subdivide this is a perfect example it's evenly distributed so you don't have any stretching and yeah and this system also works with um, triangles too. So, but as long as it's evenly distributed, you'll be fine. Okay. So we'll be working with this plane. Then let's start simple. So before you, we uh, expand shades to a more complex example. So um, basically, how to set this up? You go to your particle system, the second to the last icon here, and just click on new, and we'll leave it at emitter. Okay. And next, we want to go to the first frame and just set it to start at one and end in one. So we just can preview the whole particle system in the first frame. Okay. Yeah. Um, next, we need to go to the phys physics tab and turn off the physics. So right now, this is just mere particles. They don't have any attribute to them or any motion. And we can also increase the lifetime in case we have animation and we want to use this. So this is just basically like a hair particles, but it's not moving. Okay. Um, so next, you want to go to the source and switch it from face to vertex. So what happens is that every single vertex is, is being, a particle system is being assigned to it. So you get stuff like this. So if you move this, a vertex is, the particle system follows that vertex. Okay. Um, so once you have this set up, you also want to check use modifier stack. That's important because let's say we want to add density. Um, you can do that here because there's no functionality for that, but you can do that with the subdivision. You can just set it to simple and just keep increasing the subdivision. Um, basically, you just add subdivides the mesh more and you can have more vertex with that. Okay, so um, that's that. So you have to leave this check on and that's basically all you need for that. So the next is let's add our object. So we'll be using this torus and let's play with the settings. So since it's, uh, we're going to be dealing with instance, we don't want our mesh to be dense. So we'll set it to something like um, six and two or three. So this shows the overall shape of the object. And next we want to I'll just apply the rotation and scale and center all the origin. And finally, we go to the particle and under the render tab, you want to set it to object. And let's select this torus with this eyedropper. And yeah, we're good. So um, let's just scale this object up. 
but this shape doesn't uh, do justice if we're trying to create a chain mill so let's try to create that so we'll just duplicate this rotate this x 90 degrees and move it this way okay and now we can scale it up slightly so now we are getting this cool intersection with it so right now let's skip modeling we will just also duplicate this again rotate this x 90 degrees rotate z 90 degrees and just place it so we have connected the chain and it looks nice like this so this is basically the sh uh, shape of the chain mill and we are done with that so we can just hide the stars and just keep modifying it so um also some settings which you should be aware of is you can uh, you can check the rotation and if you need to randomize the rotation you can do that here if you need to randomize the fit, um switch rotate it just like this or like 0.5 just to get different shapes you can do that so just be aware of that and that's basically that so let's just play with the system a bit let's just create a complex shape and let's see if it will follow okay so it follows it um roughly that's because we need as i said earlier you need evenly distributed um, faces so you just add your edge loops so this mesh is just going to be like a deformer mesh and you can uncheck like show, um, render so it will not show up in your render okay so as you can see it's following the mesh but it's um, not really complete that's you just all you need to do is in the particles you just increase the number let's say around three thousand we fix that or five thousand trying to just preview uh, it's not showing anyway but you can see it it's actually connecting around the object so we need more vertex here so you can al always disable it so you can get good viewport performance and enable it during render time render time so as you can see it's actually it's evenly distributed around the mesh so that's basically it guys i hope this tutorial was helpful so it's now your turn to go ahead and do experiments and if you want to show me you can just leave link for me to just check it out and yeah thank you guys for watching this tutorial again i hope i was helpful and also thank to the new subscribers that joined and also the old ones i'm very great for you guys and inspiring me to also to put out cool stuff for you guys so thank you again and bye bye for now